Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day two of our June 2021 release and I have a card set to share with you today. Hey everybody, so I'm using the brand new prehistoric age stamp set and the mini dino stencil along with our scalloped hexagons, stitched hexagons, and our word bubble dies. So I'm going to open up this uh, mini dino stencil and um, I store my stencils in the packaging, just cut off the top, just like that. And I went ahead and pre-cut the uh, hexagons, the stitch hexagons, using white cardstock from Recollections. That's the heavyweight one. And I'm going to tape those onto the back of the stencil. I've got my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. And I'm going to do some ink blending um, using white cardstock instead of Desert Storm, like I've been doing in the past little bit. Um, I chose my colors to match um, the paper that I'm using for these cards. So I'm using Sunny Studios, Dots and Stripe and Jewel Tones, Classic Gingham, and I'm also using the Die Cuts with a View Kittasaurus stack. So I used that yesterday. Now I've cut out uh, two inch slices of that footprint paper. So it's two inches by six inches. So now I'm quickly going to go ahead and do some ink blending. So I'm using Concord and Ninth's inks. These are their little mini inks that I bought all in one set. I'm using Oceanside, that's the blue, along with those are Tailored Expressions blending brushes. I'm using um, Parsley as the green. I tried to pick colors that somewhat coordinated with, with the idea that I had going on. So, you know, easy stuff, just blending it on. I'm just making um, quick pattern paper. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special, just blending it on. Now, on the inside of each uh, card base, I'm going to tape off the bottom of it uh, using um, post-it, uh, I think they're post-it notes, but they're all sticky, so I cut them in half. And I'm just going to blend the same inks on the bottom of each um, card base. Those, those card, bates are, card bases are A2 size vertical cards, so 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half uh, with my Teflon bone folder and my Martha Stewart scoreboard. So I'm just doing this to each card base. Now I'm going to blend on um, using, as you can see, the post-it notes again. So I just cut them down the center and I use the, the flat edge that I didn't cut to line up with that grid on that Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station just to make it easy for myself. And then I'm going to blend through um, with the Tailored Expressions blending brush. And I'm just using the ink that's left over in there. And that's, I believe, the parsley ink. And now I'm gonna do the same, uh, but with the orange ink. That's the marmalade from Concord and Ninth. And like, again, still using my um, blending brushes from Tailored Expressions. And easy peasy stuff, there we go. So, and I will go ahead and blend that on the bottom of this card base also. And then I just went and quickly rinsed off this stencil with water and you know, you're in business again. So I'm loving using stencils lately. There we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use that uh, new stamp set called Prehistoric Age. And I'm going to be stamping the adorable dinosaurs with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm stamping it onto the, um, what's it called? The dots and stripes dual tones. I'm using the dot side. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp each one on coordinating cardstock. Now I'm not gonna be really doing coloring in this video. I'm bringing out my Copics just one color. But otherwise, I'm just stamping on the pattern paper and I'm calling it good. So if you're not a colorer, you can do this and make, a, I think, a pretty cute card. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp each of these out. Like I said, that's the green. And then I do it. Um, the last one I stamp on the uh, orange, I believe. Or no, the blue. Sorry, I already did the orange. That's the Triceratops there. And um, I know that ink on, or that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink is not meant to be used with Copics, but I figured I'm just using a little tiny bit and I'll be careful. So I went ahead and cut these out using my Brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border, which is kind of fun. And I also pre-cut my word bubbles um, out of that same Recollections white cardstock, the heavyweight one for card bases. And I'm just stamping the sentiments. That's Welcome to the Prehistoric Age. Um, that was using parsley. And this is Oceanside, and I'm going to stamp um, You Are Triceratops on my list. And then the last one is You're Roarable. And that will be uh, with the marmalade ink 
from uh, Concord and Knife. Now, the nice thing is, is that these inks, I think these are, are uh, a hybrid ink. So it's kind of got a pigment. So you can stamp um, sentiments with it and it doesn't get all blurry. So that's kind of handy. So there we are. So now I'm pulling out my Copic markers. So with my uh, teal Triceratops, I am using the Copic marker BG75. And I'm just coloring the little tips of his shield there. I don't know what you call it, but the thing around his neck. And I'm just trying to add the color without touching the uh, stamping because that that ink is not really meant to go with Copics and you don't want to you don't want to have a problem. So now I'm pulling up my YR07 to add some detail onto this one. I think this is a stegosaurus. Trying to remember what all these are called now. You know, I'm not a professional at this at all, let me tell you. And if I had little kids around my house, I'm sure they could tell me exactly what they are. But um, I have older kids hanging around my, or I've got one kid left in my house that's on her way out, actually. And um, she's studying for her, um, I guess, registration exams for, you know, she's in med school so she's just got to write an exam so she qualifies to work in residency so I think that she's got better things to do than to tell me what kind of dinosaurs these are so I believe this one is a bronchosaurus or brontosaurus yeah brontosaurus why am I saying bronchosaurus it's like a bronchials <laughs> like lungs but anyways no it's bron brontosaurus so I'm just adding the green and that is a YG17 and now I'm quickly adding on. These are two inch strips cut out of that pad, that Kitosaurus pad from Die Cuts with a View. And I had one piece of this stuff left, so I thought, well, why not use it? So I cut the, it's a six inch pad, and I cut it into three two inch slices. So it just makes it easy. Now the um, striped paper is that Sunny Studios dot stripe, and that is cut at two and a quarter inches. So it's a quarter inch wider, each of these. And it gives me a nice little border. So I'm using my ATG gun to stick down this little border onto my card base. You notice that I'm using that Stampin' Up pad um, lining up with the um, grid pattern. Now I'm sticking down my white stenciled background onto this scalloped hexagon. And then I will be sticking that onto my card base. So this, these are really fast and easy cards. Um, and if you're not a big colorer, they're kind of for you. I didn't use any, you know, blending or shading or anything like that. I just added some fun um, solid color in on, on areas on different areas on these dinosaurs and that's it so easy stuff and now I'm going to be popping up that uh, little triceratops so you'll see that now I'm popping up my um, my sentiment my word bubble die sorry guys that's with 3m foam tape there I'm going to pop that on the front of my card base so this is a like just the fastest way to make a quick little card and I think super cute for little kids, I think, anyway. So I'm just gonna trim off the overhang of paper using my Tim Holtz shears. And there we go. Now I did pop up my Triceratops eye um, using Stampin' Up Dimensionals or what was left of them. So I'm doing the exact same thing now on my green card. So I tried to, I used the green pattern paper. Um, you know, I, I sort of repeated the green throughout, um, sort of to give you a kind of a monochromatic card, but I used that um, pattern paper the like the dinosaur footprints uh, just to you know and that's where I pulled my colors from so you know something a little different and like I said so I'm popping up um, my sentiments um, on those word bubble dies using my leftover edges of my Stampin' Up Dimensionals I also pulled in some uh, 3M foam tape earlier but I think I'm using just scraps of my foam tape for the rest of these and um, you know I peel off the backing and then I'll pop that onto the card base. And it's like super cute, right? So I'm just going to trim off the edges of this like I did on the other one. And then I'll be doing the exact same thing for my orange card. So getting that two inch strip of paper framed with two and a quarter inch strip of paper. Now I'm going to pop on my um, blended background onto the scalloped hexagon die. And then I'll pop both of those onto my card base again, just like I did on all the other ones using my ATG gun. So fast and easy stuff. There we go. 
fun. And then I just cut off my extra. I got like it sticking to the blade there. <laughs> and then there we go. And I've already got my little um, Stegosaurus popped up with that foam tape. So I'm just going to pop him on the bottom. And then I'm going to add my sentiment, you're roarable. And uh, we'll pop that up onto this card base. And then, um, you know, and then I'll basically finish this off with some little bit of uh, decorations and embellishment, stuff like that. So this is easy peasy stuff. So I am loving this new release from Jaded Blossom. It's a long time coming. People have wanted dinosaurs for a long time and they've finally made it. Just peeling off the back of this. It takes me forever to do, this, to do that kind of stuff. The card doesn't take long at all. It's just peeling off all the stuff that takes me a while. So now on the insides, with the leftover paper, I had three quarter of an inch slices of this paper and I just run it, the color, cording, color coordinating one, sorry, over the top of each of those blended areas. There we go, just to trim it out. And then that's all I do on the inside. So easy, easy stuff. I'm using my uh, graph just to, I get, so I get these pieces of paper straight. Trimming off the edge, and then that's it. Like, easy stuff. And then this is the last one. We'll just pop that last one on, and then I'll be in business. I'll have to, then I'll be adding my favorite thing here shortly, you'll see. Trimming off, as I said. So like I said, everyone's been asking for these dinosaurs for a while, and they are fabulous. Um, this is my Jelly Roll pen. It's a Secure White number 10, and I'm just going to add in some highlights. And then I will also uh, color in the horns on that Triceratops. The nice thing about this number 10 is it's a really bold line. So you can actually color in something with it because it's so liquidy. Um, I quite love these pens. I just think they're great. So the number 10 is my, definitely my favorite. Although if you're trying to get little tiny um, highlights, you're going to want to probably go with the number eight because the number 10 does give you quite big, you know, it lays down big stripes. Now I'm just going to add in, like I said, little highlights onto that Triceratops. And then this is the Brontosaurus. And then again on the Stegosaurus. So easy stuff. So you don't have to color you know, I know a lot of people feel like that you've got to color every image. You can paper piece, you can do stuff like that. So now I am using Nouveau Christ or Nouveau Jewel Drops. And this one is in Aqua Plains. That's the blue. Now the nice thing about the they just they've got like a sheer kind of clear translucent color when they dry. Um, be careful though, because if you're putting it onto onto stuff that like a like distress oxide ink. Um, it can pull ink into the droplet and change the color. So you just want to be aware of that. Um, that is orange marmalade that I'm using there. And then the last one is key lime in Nouveau Jewel Drops. And then that is basically it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and see what the amazing design team has for you. They have a bunch of awesome projects as always. And be sure to come back tomorrow because I will have another video showing you um, a few more new products. And uh, that's about it. So we'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.